Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, we're going to talk about our math curriculum for the 2024-2025 homeschool year. I am so excited. I love this time of year here on YouTube because I love to see what everyone's using. And if you're the same way, then you're going to love this collaboration. So my video is a part of a collaboration hosted by Daveen over at Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. So you make sure you check out their channels, subscribe to them, and then check out the playlist. I'm going to have a link down below. And it's going to have a ton of mamas that are participating, sharing their curriculum for next school year. And what is so great about it is we're not doing all the subjects today to bombard you. We're gonna do one each week for the next few weeks and we've separated, well, we haven't. I do whatever they do. They have separated it out so that this week we're sharing math and then I believe next week is language arts and then it just goes from there. So if these kind of things interest you, then make sure you stick around. I like them because if you need some ideas, if you're stuck, if you don't know what you want to use for certain things, we are all bound to probably be using something different. And so you may get an idea from watching the moms in this collaboration. So let's get started. Now, when it comes to curriculum, if you watch my curriculum reveal from last year for this year, um, we ended up not using hardly any of the things that I had planned for this coming year. My son changed it up on me and we did something completely different. And so what I'm just going to say up front <laughs> in all these videos is this is what I have planned for right now. Now come August, we may be different people and we may want to do something else and it may change. So don't hold me to it. And don't think that any plan that you made is set in stone. If things need to change, you change them, okay? So don't hold me to it. Just watch my videos. I may or may not use them come in August, and I will let you know. Now, one thing I can say is the math that we have chosen is math that we have been using for a while. My son, just to give you a little context, he's 15 years old. He'll be going into 10th grade, and he does have ADHD, and so that does throw a curveball into a lot of choices that we make, but finding the right math was really hard for us. And then through research, I found Learn Math Fast. And we've been using that for the last couple of years. We started with book one, which is very basic. We are finishing up algebra one this year. And when we were going through and doing a reflection on our past year, the first thing my son said was, I don't care what else we change, but I want to stay with Learn Math Fast. I like it, I'm used to it, I can understand what I'm doing. And so that's a testimony that it is working for him and I'm not gonna change it. I love it, I love the simplicity of it, he loves it. He does not like video type style learning when it comes to school. He wants something short, sweet, and to the point so he can get it done and he can go move on and do something else with the rest of his day. So for the 2024-2025 homeschool year, we're just moving to the next thing and learn math fast. I did give him the choice between going ahead and doing algebra two or doing geometry. And he said he wanted a break from algebra, which I don't blame him. And when I was in public school, we split it like that too. We did algebra one, geometry, algebra two. So that's what we're gonna do. So we are doing geometry. Now, as you can see, I have two books because Learn Math Fast has an elementary geometry series and a high school level. Now, the reason why I bought this volume, this is the volume for basic geometry, is because it's been a while since we've done basic geometry. I mean, you gotta think like elementary schools, probably the last time he touched on basic things. Now, if you've never seen Learn Math Fast, it is black and white. It's written in a very conversational tone to the student, and it's meant to move at their pace. They can go through it slow, fast, whatever they need to do. And people use it as a supplement. Some people are gonna say it's not enough to be a full curriculum. And you know what I say? It's enough for my son, so we're gonna use it. We love Learn Math Fast, and it has really, really helped him understand math. So I went ahead and bought this one because it has been so long. This volume four um, actually has 21 lessons. There are built in, they call them review tests, but I do use them as tests for grades for high school. So there's 21 lessons and five different tests. 
And this we can probably finish in a month to a month and a half. We're just gonna run through it. This is just a review to get us going, okay? To spark and reignite some of those geometry things that have probably been filed away that we don't use all the time. So I did get that. And then this, look at that. Look at the difference in thickness. So this is the basic geometry. And then this is their volume seven. This is their, um, let's see, they call it high school geometry. Okay, so it's a nice thick book here. And if you wanna know more about Learn Math Fast, I'll link their website. It has a great write-up from the person who created it. It's very interesting. Um, you can go check that out. But this one has 30 lessons with the test built in. So if you're interested in seeing inside of them and you would like for me to do a flip through so you could get more of an idea, I'll definitely do that. I didn't wanna do it in this video since it is just a reveal. But if you want to see the inside of these, let me know because we have, I can't find the first book. I know we did book one and I have no idea where it is, but I know where to through, we've got all the way through here um, and I can show you what they look like. But if you're interested in seeing what the basic geometry or the high school geometry looks like or both, let me know and I'll do a flip through. I like flip throughs and I can understand if you want one. So this is what we'll be doing next year. So this is just kind of what it looks like. Let me just show you a lesson. So this is lesson 10, right angles with altitude. So we read through the lesson together. I have a little whiteboard. So I do stuff on the whiteboard with him. I get him to take notes because I want him to know how to do that. So we would just work through the lesson or your child could do it on their own. He prefers me to teach it to him. So you work through the lesson here. This one's quite long. I picked a really long one apparently. Um, and for him, if something like this comes up that's really long, I know that I probably need to split this lesson into two days because I know how much he can tolerate and sit through. So I would probably split that up. So you go through the lesson and then you have a worksheet that goes with it um, and all that for this worksheet. Um, but one thing I really like about Learn Math Fast is you do have access to some other free printables when you buy into their program. They give you a password and you can go and print duplicate sheets of the worksheets that are in here. Like if you don't want your child to write in the book, if you want to resell it or use the book again, um, you can print duplicate worksheets and then you can also print supplemental worksheets. So if your children just need a little bit more practice or you want to really make sure that they understand what they're doing, you can print the supplemental worksheets that go with the lessons. So. That's what I really love about it. So this is what we've chosen for math for 10th grade. Please be sure to let me know in the comments what you're using for next year, how old your kids are, just to give other people some ideas. And don't forget to check out that playlist, hit subscribe so you don't miss the other curriculum videos that are coming out. And as always, thank you so much for watching.